Welcome guys, welcome to the 16th episode of City Skylines Industries, City Skylines Industries episode 16. It's been a long time. There you go guys in the city. If you like my content, don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe to the video. Click on the bell icon to get notified when I release videos for you, City Skylines, every Mondays. Thank you guys for all the support on the channel so far. Don't forget guys, you can support the channel on Twitch at twitch.tv slash ashboss1234. All the links would be in the description. Also on Patreon. Links in the description. Below. Let's see. Let's go. Okay. What about that cinematic there? So I just realized I've been playing the game for like five minutes before I started recording. So I... I I honestly forgot that we already had a dam here and now we have a large dam on the side so we have a bit of <laughs> power coming from dams that's um waste treatment plants up there let's fast forward the time here Right, so basically as you can see we have a huge demand for residential soon in the city so we're gonna make a new district this episode. Let me see, let me see where am I going to put this district? I have some space here. I can actually expand off this road here I can here we go with the swirly roads as always so I'll expand this road as a two way freeform highway no I don't want to go under so I'll see how best I can get it to go down the hill without going underground. I can make a bridge but it can't go under. And um, right there. Alright, it may have to go under sometime. So we have that going for us. Let's go for that direction and for this direction. Anyway, I see one coming straight down the middle, then branching off to these guys here. Come on, I didn't mean for you to connect there. Nope, no, 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 stop snapping, stop too steep, okay. Nope, wrong one. <laughs> oh, I, I love how slope was too steep there. Anyway, let's continue connecting here. It's got a little small crew go. So 
so when I'm recording a video it's actually Sunday still the video would be released like Monday so this guy is Monday yeah. since we have a bit of space let's expand but not with the this one let's go continue with the four grid style let's go to here Put residents close to the polluted area. You can also connect that to make it. Let's connect that one time. Traffic manager, bigger restrictions, restrict so that no cars, bus, trucks, only garbage, service vehicles can go through. Some of them are actually going to take that road to get onto the small highway there back up into this part of the city instead of going all the way around to come up to this end it helps with the garbage issue on the side of the city close to the Digai Park yeah Digai close to Digai's park across here That's one of my moderators on Twitch. And also one of my PUBG teammates when I stream PUBG. And if I can actually make this connection, that is going to look so bad. <laughs> it makes no sense trying that. So eventually we can take that and continue expanding going down and eventually connect him to here so for now we'll go with this let's get some disconnected power grid okay let's line up the water style is that you can actually use us water pipes once you do it good and one can come straight down the middle here yeah. and that's gonna be and we have a connection to the water system Power on the other hand is already connected. So I would go with high density. Commercial on the inside of these. Should actually put this one to the offices here. Yeah. Just these ones here would be offices. That one might as well be offices. And the rest would be high density commercial.
Oh, to get some surfaces and we are right now at the moment losing money let's get uh let's see how much ground yep uh that center can work let's get one of these in here. crematorium this should be able to cover most of the district and a police station Alright, so we have some new buildings coming up in the city. Our demand is drastically dropped, so we hardly have any demand for either commercial, industrial or residential buildings, because we have some zoning available. We'd have to organize some transport transportation for this district also and some disaster shelters forgot about that completely we can actually no that can fit there so that one can cover this whole district. Mm, we have that here already. Need a bit more coverage. Let's try a large antenna there. In regards to power for the antenna. Alright, so we are taking care of all the demand right now. We still have a drastic drop in our income. We are negative right now. Wow. See that after this, and it's increasing. Why is that increasing? It's decreasing. See if you can get it to get back to a positive. Uh, right, it's now 2000 minus 2000 and decreasing. See if you can get it back to a positive so that we can start gaining some money. So I'm not going to expand anymore, and right, we're back at a positive. And right, 1000 positive, right. We're back with a profit in the city. Wow. Negative, positive. It's kind of finicky right now. Hopefully it balances off. It would actually when the... Oh my lord. When everything decides to build in, it should balance off with the taxes and stuff. Anyway guys, I got out there. Interruption. We obviously have garbage. No garbage issue here because the there's a huge garbage. Do we have any recycling? Yes, we have a good bit. So there's a huge area there that's dealing with garbage so we will not have any garbage issues hopefully in this district don't forget guys you can leave comments below on what you want to see next okay i forgot that i was empty in this so i have to work yeah 
leave a comment below on what you want to see next in the city it's a ridiculous number of water treatment plants here yeah? a huge number of water treatment plants you also have here that we can expand near the space station if you guys missed the episode where I built the space station up at the card up I put the card to the top where you guys can see that I actually did that in a that was actually my for my 100th video finale I did that then let's see we can do some stuff here I have an idea for this area it is an oil area also I can get a boat connection here yeah, first I'll just see if I can get the boat connection Down. let's make a small self-sufficient district see like one should be enough for here it doesn't really matter you guys can pollute the area Oh, oh my lord, I am s Wow, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh my lord, move you. Why the hell did I do that? Alright, so let's get some roads in here. We're gonna go with the conventional industrial roads and make a small district out there oh my lord we are losing money and we got the money right now the income is still trying to balance itself off start off a new oil district we should be able to hopefully get some income get an income stable a stable income why the hell did I said income stable a stable income into the city will be running on let's see we have an oil power plant why not <laughs> it's an oil industry and for garbage you guys will have two of these right here water connections would be Gonna be enough for him. Right, so we can make this a district, officially a district. Hopefully this episode is not as laggy 
when in the encoder encodes it. Hopefully it's not as laggy as the last two episodes. I have no idea what went on there. It usually runs smoother than that. The game is running smoother but the encoder somehow decides to encode at 15 frames per second. When the game actually runs at like 20 frames per second. So it Wow, that's a very interesting topic, all by itself. Let's get some oil, a bit more oil being produced, main building, must be good by roadside, right at the entrance of the oil district. Let's get some pumps going. Power that one. And this is the last thing I'm going to put down just for now. I should be able to get a storage at least. We got a money. Alright, we can at least get one of these. Slope too steep. Oh my lord. Get some power in here. Alright, so these guys have power. We almost went bankrupt. There, yeah, we almost went bankrupt. Okay, so you may just go bankrupt this episode, it's kind of in between, as you can see at the bottom there, that's weird. Hopefully we don't get bankrupt this episode, we are sitting on a um, population of 71,000 people, 71,000 plus, and it's increasing we still have a demand for residential and a demand for commercial wow we may just have to raise the taxes in the city Let's raise that to like 11 and give these guys like 13 the industrial will go to 11 commercial 11 this one can go to 12 the officers can go to 12 also oh okay that just made a huge difference Re raising the taxes there made a huge difference now we're gaining like 46,000 50,000 wow we're gonna be rich! <laughs> well, the city is huge, so... I am not seeing anyone complaining for the tax being so... being high. Right now, probably because... There's a lot of people in the city. Mm. Wow. Alright, we're gonna be setting on a million dollars soon. No buyers for products. No oil. Seriously. Garbage piling up. There's, there's seriously. There are incinerators right there. Thank you. Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Alright, so let's just, while we watch money build up. Might as well add one here. For 
do influx of people connect that to the power grid and the water grid and the road grid <laughs> that sounds ridiculous and we have a functional passenger port and transport cargo hub that is I said that totally wrong let's connect the cargo hub oh my lord why can't I talk let's connect the cargo hub to the train system we have going this was something like this if you can go under, I don't want to have this going across the water. Let's come back up. Oh my lord, the slope is too steep. Just out of there. There we go. Messed up that train there. What a glitch. What a glitch. Oh my lord. What's going on with you? Are you okay? Traffic manager delete that. Garbage piling up. Seriously. We constantly have an issue for garbage. Like, constantly. This is constantly without oil. Which would mean these guys would run out of power. Let's see how those guys do. So we'd have to look for an alternative power source for these hooks down here. Some workers barracks, yes they are out of power now, finally. And there's finally some sort of production going on in the oil. Maintenance building on this side. Let's get an offshore Get a few drills up on this side here. Let's get a different source of power because we would be needing power to operate the drills. Let's see, we can use geothermal power. We should have an offshore. We don't have enough money for it. We would have an exact but need the power immediately like see give me a good location I should bump up some power here and we got power all right so the oil industry down here is working
and finally we have some <laughs> finally we have a cargo boat coming in oh my lord that took a while all right guys thank you f oh my lord wrong wrong camera wrong camera there all right guys thank you for watching into this episode of covid out Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of City Skylines Industries episode 16 is? Episode 16, yes. Thank you guys for tuning in. Sorry that I took so long to end up the episode though. A little bit of consumption again. Thank you guys for tuning in. Oh my lord, we have a balloon on fire and it's on track. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of City Skylines Industries episode 17. As you can see, the city is continuously growing with the huge dam in the background with a bit of glitch with the road. Interesting. You, if you like my content, don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe to the video and the channel, and you'll get to see more. If you want to see me live, you can check the channel out live on twitch.tv, twitch.tv slash ashbows1234. Again, it's twitch.tv slash ashbows1234. Live Mondays to Saturdays, 1 p.m. Central Time. So you can check the channel out there. There'll be a link in the description. If you want to support the channel even more and want to see some more video come out on the channel and more games on the channel for you guys, you can support the channel on Patreon. The Patreon site would be linked in the description. I'd have to fix that Why are people going through the... Wow. The channel would... The Patreon page would be linked in the description. So you guys can see what's going on with the channel on Patreon. You can also now follow the channel on Instagram. It would the link would be in the description also. Get your hands on the limited edition merch that we have in stores. Links in the description below. Thank you guys for all the support on the channel so far. See you guys. This is Ashbo saying enjoy the rest of your day. See you guys next week.